A children's book is stirring controversy in the town of St. Mary's. While some people are calling for the book to be taken off the shelves, others want to shut down the library over it. 27 News reporter Jacob Kaufman joins us live from St. Mary's, where city leaders are about to address the issue at tonight's commission meeting. Jake. Yeah, guys, this meeting tonight is about this book right here, Melissa. It's about a fourth grader who identifies as a girl and wants to play the part as Charlotte in school play Charlotte's Web. This book is on the William Allen White book list. All books on this prestigious list are offered to libraries throughout the country. This book has only been checked out three times at the St. Mary's Headquarters Library. And back in July, an individual, not the city, challenged to get rid of the book. Now, after months of controversy, city commissioners are considering not renewing the lease on the building currently used by the St. Mary's branch of the Potawatomi Wabunsee Regional Library, which ends at the end of the year unless the book is taken off the shelves. But the library director says it would be a big mistake to not renew the lease, not only because it would get rid of the largest of eight libraries that serve Wabunsee and Potawatomi County, but because they would no longer be able to give back to the community. Last year, uh, we did a summer food, summer reading program. We served 20,000, almost 20,000 meals to children in Potawatomi and Wabunsee County. Half of those meals were served in this community. It would be a big blow to the community, community a, a disservice to them to no longer have access to those resources. Krimer adds that the lease agreement, if it is approved, she hopes that the city and the library can work out any differences they have. Now, currently, Melissa is not available at the St. Mary's Library, but it is available at the seven other branches within the Potawatomi Wabunsee Library uh, District. And guys, I will be at tonight's meeting to review the process, so make sure to tune in to 27 News at 10 for a final review. For now, reporting live in St. Mary's, Jacob Kaufman, working for you, 27 News. Okay.